when I was um, working on uh, Electronica, I did a uh, track and I said it was not fitting the Electronica project at all. And I said if I had to, to do Oxygen today, probably I would start with a track like this. And then I kept that uh, in the back of my mind. And uh, when um, uh, the record company, when Sony came to see me and say, ah, next year is the 40th anniversary of Oxygen, maybe we could think about special box set or something like this. And I'm not too much in uh, anniversaries anymore, anyway. Not in, I'm not too into uh, anniversaries particularly, but I, I said it could be fun to use this 40th anniversary as a, as a deadline, as a pretext to, uh, to uh, after this massive production uh, that Electronica has been for four years with 30 collaborators, uh, recording lots of different studios in the, U in, the, in the US and in Europe, and also um, with sometimes, I mean, 100 tracks for one, one song. I thought it would be cool to, to do a, a minimalist project and actually to um, uh, do what I've done for the first Oxygen, uh, recording an old album in six weeks, what I've done for the first one. And then I, I locked myself up in, the, in my studio for during summertime, and then I did it without even listening to the first one or the second one. I did, I did it in one go. And, and when I, I did the first one, it was in the vinyl days, and I was always thinking about side one, side two, what you can cut on a, on, on, on a vinyl, it's more or less 20 minutes on each side. So actually Oxygen 3, in a sense, has two sides, has been conceived with, in two parts, even if you have seven parts in two, in two, uh, two parts. And uh, Oxygen was, and he's a kind of uh, quite a dark and sunny project, the first one, even the cover. And uh, I thought that uh, I, I, then I, I did a s part one, a side one, rather dark, and side two, uh, rather sunny. Actually, when I, st I finished Oxygen, I said it could be interesting. It was part one, part two, four, five, six. I said it could be interesting to have a sequel uh, from the beginning. I didn't know how and when, but I thought it could be, it could be interesting. I, I've always been interested in, uh, in sequels in series. Uh, you have lots of series in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in movies, in literature, but not that much in music. And uh, I think it's quite interesting to, to say, okay, we, you take a concept, or you take a, a project, like you take actors, and you put them in a, uh, under different, uh, in different storyboard, different st uh, script. And it's what I've done with the new one, is actually keeping the context, the concept of uh, being minimalist, being uh, quite, um, also, uh, as I said, dark and sunny and, and quite, uh, 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 quite limited with the instruments. And, and just as the, the cover is showing it, just shifting it a bit. I mean, taking the old project in different, from a different angle. I mean, for me, the, 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 the paintings of uh, Michel Granger for Oxygen and also Equinox, they, they were so great and so I mean, fitting what I had in mind, that I really took it. I mean, actually, when I said that, they were existing for a few, he did probably the, the, co the, the oxygen painting maybe a few months ago, I mean, a few months before, maybe three, four months before. So it was still brand new and not, not uh, shown. But I said, I instantly uh, felt that uh, it was really interesting to uh, avoid, uh, you know, the, the, the pop rock approach would have been to do a gas mask or a bottle of oxygen or an apple tree illustrating oxygen and uh, and I, I wanted something else you know to to actually I think a good cover is a cover who is not which is not repeating that is not repeating the music or the title but giving another angle to the, to the title that is what what we, we did and then uh, for the for the oxygen 3 I wanted to keep the original image but slightly shifted as I said and then I asked him the uh, the permission to uh, modelize the, the, uh, his original painting in 3D and to just shift of 30 degrees the whole thing. Actually, when, when I thought about, uh, about uh, this new Oxygen, Oxygen 3, I was wondering if I would uh, go back to uh, the gear I was using at that time or not. And I said that if I was starting Oxygen today, I wouldn't necessarily even have these instruments. So I said, OK, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to choose what I would like to use now, in 2016. What would it be? 
And then I, I took a bit of the original instrument, but also a bit of plugins or synth or digital synth I, I love today. And I even used uh, an iPad, for instance. You know, so but the but where uh, the similar uh, the similarities are is more the, with the idea that uh, I did the first one uh, on an eight track tape machine. And, I said, and it means that you never have more than eight elements at a time, and sometimes one or two or three. And then I kept, I kept that. You, you have never more than eight elements per track. Uh, much more minimalist than uh, Electronica, the previous project. I think this one is, uh, is uh, quite, uh, quite organic. And I, I, f I don't know if I've been invo uh, influenced by, uh, when I look back or listen back to the piece, I, I, because I did, I really wanted to di do it in one go, and not. Uh, and then after it was finished, uh, I went back on tour. So I even hardly heard it after it was mastered. I just bang, I did it for in six weeks, and 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 I didn't listen really to it after after that. But uh, what, what I think, is actually uh, I've been probably also uh, unconsciously uh, influenced by uh, what happened in France with all these terrorist acts, and 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 that you go. You go uh, outside, and uh, you can uh, meet. Uh, I don't know, you can uh, meet the love of your life at the corner of the street, or you can be killed in a terrorist act. And and this kind of moment of chaos in a kind of uh, uh, different period of li of your life is something we, we we I wanted to express. And actually, what I would say with Oxygen Three is actually you have these different parts, and some are dark, some are more right or and and and, s and between them you have some chaotic moments which are which has almost nothing to do with what what you just heard and what's going to come after and i think that creates a kind of a very uh, uh, specific uh, sp specific uh, uh, style and i did i really did it uh, unconsciously but when i listen to it now i, I feel this and uh, I said that, you know, also uh, one another thing is actually we, we, we've been the five, five, last five, seven years, really all into a kind of constant zapping mode on YouTube and getting one minute, two minutes of this, this or that. And I think we start to be a bit tired of that. And I think it's, uh, it's uh, you can see that you, 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 can, uh, you can spend uh, an old weekend with your girlfriend or boyfriend, I mean, uh, uh, watching three seasons of Game of Thrones or, or, or House of Cards without hardly sleeping. So it's something uh, that I think you, you wouldn't do 10 years ago. You wouldn't have, we'd, it's something wouldn't, you wouldn't have done 10 years ago. And I think it's... Uh, we, we, the, I had a need, I mean, I, I think some other people as well, to, to also approach music in this, in this way. So I think Oxygen 3 for me is one track, basically, of 40 minutes. You go into it or not. It's a journey. And the journey of 40 minutes is a quite fast one anyway. So, so I think it's possible. It's not like 75 minutes or 80 minutes. It's, uh, and I, I hope that people will, will listen to it as one song. Mm -hmm.